love you too. It's you and I. guys good morning good morning happy new week i hope you all are fine and it's staying at home safe for those of you who are on phase two of the lockdown i am saying that you guys will take it easy everything will be okay okay so that we all can go back to our normal activities i know it's not easy and it's not funny anymore but god will bring solution very soon so guys today's video is all about katrina and then dorothy I think I uploaded a video yesterday about um, Katrina welcoming Dorothy in her house because Dorothy went to visit her. But after the visit, the tweets were flowing out there, the bus goes. And I don't know the reason of this tweet. I don't know whether it's according to their discussion or it's from their discussion that this tweet came out of. So I don't know whether Katrina has said something about one of the housemates to Dorati or Dorati has said something to Katrina and then now they are here tweeting. Or two of them, they have crossed themselves. I don't know which is which. So I'm going to read the caption and you guys will tell me what you guys think about this particular message. Because I myself, I can't really tell you the meaning of the message. I'm just going to read according to the message and then tell you guys what exactly I think the message is. Katrina was the first person who sent out a tutor. That was yesterday after Dorothy's um, visit. And then she said that you can't dine with an energy and call yourself my friend. You must be high on cheap drugs. Katrina, why are you sending people? Who owns this message? I have seen that Nengi fans, they were there giving it to her back to back. And I don't know the reason why Nengi fans thought that this message is for them. So most of the Nengi followers, they were there giving it to Katrina back and front. It was like hell. I was reading the messages and I was laughing. At some point, I was angry and pissed up because I think she didn't mention Nengi's name. She didn't mention anybody's name. So why are they attacking her? And after all, why would Katrina even bring this message? I don't really understand. One of the commenters said that, this tweet is from Dora and Katrina discussion today in her house. We all know the gossipers in the house are rescues. So they were gossiping. That's what this person is saying. And that's why Katrina came out here to send this message. You know, Katrina, I don't know what's, what is really wrong with her. I don't really know. But if you want fame or you want popularity, this is not the way to do it. You don't have to be stating people. You don't have to be insulting people. Because these things are indirect insults and they are more painful than facing somebody and insulting the person. And Dorothy, I think that her, her maturity and her intelligence will not even lead her to this. But nonetheless, she also came out to say her own. She said that if I fuck with you, it is 100% all the way. Dorothy said that if I fuck with you, it is 100% all the way. Dorothy, Dorothy, we all know that she have her own vibes, right? We all know she have her own words. So, we all know who is Dorothy, right? Um, Dorothy is some kind of person you know that you can't really predict her. The portrait she will give you and, the, and what is really in her is always different. That's what I've observed about her. In the house, some people are saying that she was pretending to be a good girl. She was pretending to be the humble person. She was pretending to be the loyal person. But now that she came outside, she's really showing her true color. And I was not expecting this message from Dorothy. Whatsoever the discussion they had. And for Katrina, I don't have much to say because I'm used to it, right? So Dorothy have to be very careful of these messages. And now, yesterday I uploaded a video. And that video I uploaded, sorry. It's about press talker, right? It's about press talker. I uploaded a video about Prince Stoker yesterday, but I couldn't talk. It's about Prince David, Ultimate Love. If you guys can still remember that, because some people are saying that what is Ultimate Love? <laughs> That's me, they have forgotten about Ultimate Love. Ultimate Love, to me, it was all about scam, because I can't see the reason of them doing that show again. If all the Ultimate Love guesses came outside and thinking of something different, or trying to show us that what they were playing was a game or was a prank where they pranking us or where they baffling us and now they are showing us their real color is a different ball game so i don't think they really need to do that ultimate love part two it doesn't really worth it so prestoka is trying to explain that prestoka confirms that she and david wilson were already dating and had wedding plans before ultimate love started 
they went to the same school in Potakot. They went into the same university in Potakot. They know themselves. And now when they came out there, they were pretending as if they don't know themselves. And now, Prince Toka was delayed for one week, right? Let's continue reading. Prince said that she became unstable after David could not wait for her as he was delayed for a week. Instead, David went for Rosie. So that's the reason why when Prince came, Press was very angry with Rosie and then David because she thought that she was close to Rosie outside the house and now they came in the same love part and then Rosie is trying to snitch into her boyfriend. And let me tell you, they were even planning about marriage. And when they came inside, they pretend as if they don't know each other. So all they were baffling themselves. They were fooling themselves, not us. Because if Press could have said that to Rosie, Rosie would have not even go further to keep malice with her or even to ignore her. But she didn't say anything. She was pretending and playing along with the game. And now that um, Press came outside the house, she was still trying to form, trying to form like couple, couple, couple. They were doing everything together. At the end of the day, they left each other. And when people said that they had broke up, and I confirmed it, Press came out to say that she doesn't want to bring her relationship on the public. Yes. Or to deny that there was a problem between her and then David. And there was a problem. So why the denial? Why trying to hide behind the set? You don't have to do that. Come out of your shell and tell people that this is what is happening. At the end of the day, the ones who can support you, they will support you in what happened. And for her to come out and be admitting that there was a problem and they were dating outside even before coming to the house, it was so funny to me. It was so funny and weird. So I just wish her good luck, let her move ahead. She's a TV presenter, she's a radio presenter. She can do a lot of things, she's an MC. And then likewise, David, the compatibility was there and then the snakey was just strong. That was the reason why I was supporting Press David. But later on, I realized that there was no love. I had to back out. But they were one of my best couple in the house. So I just wish them good luck, okay? What do you guys think about this mess? Because I have uploaded the video, but I was not talking about it because that moment, I think I was doing something and I couldn't talk. So that's why I came to analyze this now. So I told you guys that um, Nengi has an iPhone 12 and I told you guys that Nengi will hold this phone and snap. <laughs> oh my God, where are my love mates? Divine, join me please. You see this? Are you seeing this? Nengi is holding the iPhone in front of the mirror so that we can see the iPhone. It means that anybody who have an iPhone 12, you're gonna do this kind of snap. Yes, this kind of selfie, this kind of selfie, so that people can see that you are having iPhone 12. <laughs> Nengi, I do like you. Guys, this was what I have. So you should laugh with me. There's nothing deep here. I was just trying to crack joke because Nengi, I told you guys on my prediction that she have a new iPhone and she's gonna use this iPhone and snap so that people can see it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what exactly she did <laughs> okay guys don't mind me even if i have an iphone i'm gonna do the same thing so don't mind me okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you guys will really um find this video interesting and then that will make you to subscribe to my channel so guys as i said if you think that there is a reason of you subscribing why not you do it right away and thank you so much for coming eh, eh. Thank you for joining the family, the inspiring family. And for those of you who always come out here to support Maram, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. Million. And I'm giving Sana to all my diasporans and Africa as a continent. I love you guys so much. And then I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Yeah. <laughs>
Love and life, but when it's go time, I don't do all that shit. I'm of a love and I repeat to niggas who wanna fuck with me. That's how I did that shit. She showed me the foundation of all that shit. Let's uproot that shit. Yo, see, this is not new to me. This is food for me. I'm hungry and the beat looks good to me. This is conviction. I'm not getting news for free. Cloud, that's me. I'm not chasing me. I life like a movie. This is God part. And we're not evenly matched because I'm number one. And you know what's odd? You have to be the odd one to be number one. Woo! You gotta no. be the odd one to be number one! Perfect.